Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Pastebin. Now Pastebin is a text sharing tool where you simply paste in the text that you want to share. People often use Pastebin for various reasons. Commonly it is used to share code, commands and error codes across the internet. The first thing you'll need to do to use Pastebin is navigate to the pastebin.com website at www.pastebin.com. Once you're here, you'll be greeted with this page. You'll simply need to scroll down a bit where it says new paste and paste in the text that you want to share. So in my case, I'm going to paste in a command. So I have it on the new tab here, which is a Minecraft command, and it's a command to initiate a server. So I'm just going to simply copy this command here. And then I'm going to go back to the other tab where pastebin is, and I'm just going to paste it in here. So there we go. We have a new paste and we have included our text. Now you'll have the ability to configure your paste settings. Let me just scroll down just a bit. So here for the syntax highlight, if you've pasted in code, you have the option to highlight the syntax. So we have CSS here, we have HTML, JavaScript, etc. So for me, I'm going to keep it as none as mine is a command and not a form of code. You can also set a paste expiration date. You can choose never all the way up to one year if you want. I'm going to have an expiration date of never. You can also set your paste exposure to public or unlisted. You also have the option of private. However, that is only available to pro members. To go pro, you simply click at the top here, go pro. However, I don't believe at this current time they are taking any more pro members. Okay, so I'm going to keep it as public. However, unlisted might be an option for you as it allows only the people that have the link to view your paste bin. You also have the option of putting your paste in a folder. However, that again is only available to pro members. And now for the title, I'm just going to go with a nice generic title that's clear to what the paste bin is. Minecraft new server java edition command and then i'm going to simply hit create new paste and there we go we've generated a new pastebin link with the pasted text in question there is also an additional step on pastebin that you can do and it's got to do with this note here so as you can see you get this note when you create a new pastebin as a guest so it says your guest paste has been posted if you sign up for a free account you can edit and delete your paste now i think this is an excellent feature and i definitely recommend you sign up for a pastebin account so that you can delete and edit any pastebin pastes you create at will now the first thing you'll need to do to sign up is to simply click the sign up text in red here or you can commonly just do it at the top right hand side here and that's what I'm going to do because that's the first thing you'll see on the top right hand corner when you land on pastebin.com so left click sign in here you'll then have to put in a username an email address or a password or you can optionally sign up quickly with Facebook Twitter or sign up with Google which is what I'm going to do because I have a Google account so you just simply left click here and you'll be brought to this page so long as you're logged into your Google account already so you'll need to pick a username I'm going to go with Websplaining you have the option here to receive offers from pastebin deals I'm going to leave that unchecked and you have to agree to the terms of service which is what I'm going to do here and then you just hit create my account and there you go you have a pastebin account now if you look on the top right hand side here you should see your username and the free status of your account let's go ahead and create a new pastebin once again so I'm going to just right click and paste in the same commands that we pasted in last time I'm going to scroll down uh, no syntax no expiration date the paste exposure let's go with unlisted this time and the folder is for pro members paste name title I'm just going to go with something simple this time oh it gives me the option here to use the last one and maybe I'll add in v2 this time and let's create new paste fantastic and just like that a new pastebin URL has been generated now I forgot to mention in the previous pastebin link that we created that to simply share the link of the pastebin that you want to share to everybody is you just simply click here and copy so I'll just demonstrate here real quickly and if I paste it in there and search it you can see anybody with this link can see the text to this pastebin here 
Okay, let's just close out of this here. And now I just want to demonstrate that you can actually edit on a free account and it is more powerful than a guest account. If we just look to the right hand side here, you can see you have the option to edit and delete. Let's edit. And let's just change a piece of the command. So here I'm just going to change all of this and I'm going to change it to server. And let's scroll down and go save changes. And there we go, our changes have been made and the edited tag is included with the day of the edit. What's nice about being able to edit your paste bins is that also the URL stays the same. So people can also use the same URL that you already shared with them. And now before we finish this tutorial, let's delete this paste bin just to prove that having a free account instead of a guest account is powerful. Pastebin then prompts you with this message here. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this paste? There is no undo and you're going to hit OK. And as easily as the paste has been created, it has been destroyed. Your paste bin is empty. Create your first paste. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. I'll see you on the next one.